ho, ho. Today's magical video, we're going to be having a look at the Figures Toy Company. This is the 2015 Special Edition Santa Claus figure. Now, couldn't have, of course, December and Christmas spots without having a look at Santa Claus himself. Let's get some dimensions going before we look at the figure. Santa Claus stands almost, well, actually, he stands exactly eight inches in height. He doesn't really get a whole heck of a lot in the way of accessories. In fact, the only thing he does get is his Santa hat. Would have been cool, actually, if they included a Santa sack or a gift or something like that. But the hat's the only thing we're going to be getting. The material is actually about the same sort of material that you would get if you did pick up a Santa hat for yourself. It's kind of like that shiny, not quite certain the material used, but it's got almost a fur, a faux fur bottom to it. And it sits generally pretty easy on his head. It benefits from the fact that it's bigger also from his head, that it, you know, it sits over top. It doesn't require elastics or anything like that. No, it sits perfectly fine on his hat, on his head. It doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, but only by virtue of the fact, again, it's a it's a bigger size than than his head. Having a look at his face, it's it's not terrible. Um, I would say that they've gone very very liberal with the amount of paint on his beard, his mustache, his eyebrows, and his hair. Clearly, it looks like the plastic or the original paint on it was gray, and then they've just slopped. I said slopped white paint over top of that. Uh, its application does kind of leave something to be de desired. It looks like it's a little on the sloppy side. It doesn't know if it wants to be gray or if it wants to be white. The effect of painting white over top of gray could be successful, but I think if they were a little bit more mindful as to where the, the white was going and not just simply just dab it everywhere. Areas here, I think like the outer area uh, probably could have been a little bit, like here could have been a little bit more white incorporated as opposed to just using the gray and then it just looks like they slopped white paint all over the place and there's the back of his head doesn't look as bad but like the beard really needed a little bit extra work there his face reminds me of Kenny Rogers you know the gambler the guy who also had a chicken uh, franchise that didn't do all that well we had Kenny Rogers here in Canada for I think all of a month and then it went out of business or at least they pulled it from Canada here but the face is passable. I mean, your idea of Santa Claus, my idea of Santa Claus, the guy down the street's idea of Santa Claus may all vary. But I think generally most people think a, a portly fellow. Not necessarily rosy cheeks because this guy doesn't have rosy cheeks, but certainly a full-faced figure. And he's got some bright blue eyes here. Yeah, he could have used a little bit of more rosiness around the cheeks, a little bit more rosiness around the nose. That's... Those are staples for Santa Claus. Unfortunately, he just doesn't have it here. But, uh, you know, for for despite the fact that the, the, the paint is so haphazardly applied here, I think actually the head sculpt is pretty good all around. I think it's pretty good. Now, regarding the rest of his outfit, it's using the same material as his hat here. And I think, again, it's pretty successful. It's the same sort of material that if you went to any retail store and bought yourself a low budget sort of you know Santa hat this is the sort of material that you would be expecting to get which is not knocking it ne necessarily at all I mean that's the type of material that they're using here uh, he does have the faux fur around not only his sleeves but around his collar and the lower portion of his jacket and the lower areas the cuffs around his boots we'll talk about those boots in a second the only thing that seems a little off is the fur trim that's running down the front here it doesn't look like it's nearly the same material, and it clearly looks like it's a dis different color from the rest of the fur. Like, this is a very bright white. Here, it kind of comes across a little bit on the pink side, and I think a lot of that just can be chalked up to the fact that it's very thin, that maybe you're seeing the red fabric underneath. I don't think it's necessarily pink fur that they've added, but it definitely does look off from the rest of the fur, 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 and fur. If you are wondering, by the way, we can lift up his body, or his suit, 
And surprisingly, he actually even has suspenders underneath, which is something that I don't think, I'm looking at the jacket, I don't think you can actually remove it. I suppose you could try to slide his arms off and you know take this all, all off, but it just seems like it's unnecessary. But yet they put in suspenders, which I guess is, I mean, that's good. I, they put suspenders, and I really wouldn't have expected that. I guess it's one way to keep the pants also, much like if you are a regular person wearing suspenders, it keeps the pants, which are already baggy on Santa, uh, still staying on the figure. Because up here is, you know, it's not... Well, actually, it does look like... No, it is uh, separate. Um, so again, like, really nice that they put suspenders in there. Most of his portliness can obviously be chalked up to the fact that his jacket adds much of the weight to him. He's a very thinner figure underneath all that, but the jacket adds to give him that Santa size. Legs are also pretty good if we just lift that up. It, uh, very much the construction of this is similar to that of uh, like a NECA retro cloth figure. The hinges are a little bit more basic in their design, but still it's about the same sort of thing. Now let's talk about these boots. These boots are extremely flimsy. And I don't know if the intent is that you can actually take the boots off. Um, they've gone with this very cheap, flimsy feeling plastic which I almost would have settled more so for, like, don't need to, don't feel the need to undress Santa Claus. I mean, if that's your thing, by all means. I would have almost just kept it as a, as a clothed figure and not give him these boots that just feel floppy and loose on him. The plastic feels cheap, but again, if you, their intent was to take these off, mission accomplished, I don't personally think that the, the boots, or really for that matter, the entire outfit really needed to be taken off Santa Claus in the first place. Let's go through his articulation. His head is on a rotation. I would like to say it's on a ball joint, but unfortunately that not be the case. Maybe it is, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it really is. It feels like it's just on a hinge joint. Uh, by the way, very creepy. Uh, let me see if I can show you here. They've sculpted the under area of his neck. You see that? It it looks it looks like a turkey. It looks like a turkey neck. It's sculpted and yet they haven't painted it. I just don't know why. You wouldn't have seen it. I wonder why they would have sculpted it like that. Arms hinge outward. Full back and forth on the figure. You got the bend in the elbow. Rotation in the hand. Um, possibly a rotation in the waist. It doesn't seem like it wants to move though. You got your forward and back on the legs. Very, very loose legs. Very loose legs. They hinge out, but you got the bend in the knee. Very, very loose though. Uh, no really, f no foot, art well, there's foot articulation, but good luck trying to do anything with it with these boots on. Again, there, here's a just a good idea of like the material that they use for the boots. It's really hard to describe. Imagine the cheapest plastic uh, that you could find maybe on a dollar store toy. It's about that same sort of texture, that same sort of uh, quality. You know, I, I know that everything else on the figure feels like it's a pretty decent quality, but I like the boots don't seem like they are the greatest at all. For this year's Christmas spots, I made a list. I checked it twice. I found out who was, uh, you know the rest. But I did also scour the internet for things I could find to review for this year's Christmas spots. One of which, one of the things that I had on my list, near the top of my list, was a Santa figure. That's actually pretty hard to come by. You go on eBay and you type in Santa figure, generally what you're getting is you're getting a lot of the interactive things that Hallmark would say release every single year. You'd press his tummy, he'd dance, he'd sing, probably, you know, some silly song. But to find just a Santa figure can be pretty difficult. And then I came across the figures toy company, Santa Claus 2015 Special Edition. This is actually a pretty neat looking Santa Claus, if you just want a Santa Claus figure. It's few and far between, but I think this one actually delivers everything I would want for a Santa Claus figure. The paint, granted, yes, is a little sloppy, so it would hit the more the naughty list, I think, in paint application. But I think the sculpt is pretty good. The costume is nice. It's nice to have a real material costume. But the only other thing I would say is naughty on this figure is his boots. His boots are pretty weak sauce. But overall, I think the more nice aspects outweigh the naughty aspects here on Santa Claus. Today we were having a look at the, this was the figures toy company 2015 special edition. This was the Santa Claus figure. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, don't be naughty.
Make sure you hit that little subscribe button. You'll never miss a beat when it comes to future videos on this channel. Speaking of which, of course, we are in full swing in the month of December. So many more Christmas spots will be heading your way soon. So keep your eyes open. Keep these peepers open for videos hitting your subscription boxes. I think that's what they call it now, the subscriber subscription boxes. I don't know. Whatever the thing that pops up when you sign into YouTube and then it shows new videos by whoever you're subscribed to, keep your eyes open for those because there's always new videos coming out from this guy here. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time. Ho, ho, ho.